Well, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Um, I got some new melting dishes in the other day. And um, from uh, Jet Ink, I believe. Jet Ink, Jet Ink, something like that. And um, there's a little three pack. I got them for around $12, $13, something like that off eBay. And um, today I'm going to uh, flux them. You know, get the glaze on the inside so they'll be ready for uh, silver melting so they won't stick. Um, I got the whip on one of them and the nene on the other. No, just kidding. Um, it's got uh, one, got the one whip. Uh, but I'm going to try to go ahead and flux both of them so they'll be ready for when I get ready to pour. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first of all, you need to get the melting dishes up to a fairly warm temperature I'm talking about like a glowing red like a well not glowing red but like a get your torch on it and hold it for a good bit of time to where it's actually good and hot and then you get the powder and uh, sprinkle on just a little bit little bit at a time until you uh, are able to get a nice good glaze over the whole dish or the inside of the dish and uh, I'm going to show you my progress through that alright first off you don't necessarily have to have a hot plate um, but I do so I use it uh, but you just get your torch and heat it up evenly try to go around it you don't want to go too fast because it might break it or crack it. But if you just hold it in one place like this right here for a really long time when it's cold, it's liable to crack. So don't do that. You just go around and round and round. Come on the outside of it. Heat it up nice, slow like. And just get it up to temperature. You want to have it good, nice, and fairly hot all over. I did buy a uh, bag of the flux that they were selling on their website. And um, then later on, I learned that you can go get some uh, 20 Mule Team Borax. It's uh, soap, I believe. And it's the same thing. This is Borax. If you're wanting to put Borax in here, it gives it like a nice, glassy, glossy look. Temperature. I'll be right back. Alright, this right here is what I have 20 Mule Team Borax Detergent Booster and Multi Purpose Household Cleaner. This is what I'm going to be putting into my melting dish to give it that nice, glossy, glassy finish and uh, to keep that silver from sticking. Alright, so got the torch going. It's getting nice. Uh, I don't think you can see it, but it's kind of got a little reddish glow to it. I've uh, poured out some of the borax into this old melting dish here. So I'm going to get it a little pinch at a time. Just put a little pinch in. You see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's melting. Right, go ahead. with a torch. Getting that good glaze going on. I got my boy Ethan here. He's helping me with this today. Good little 
glaze. Be sure to get those there on the uh, pour spout where uh, that's where you're gonna be pouring from. You don't want it to be sticking right there. I've learned already that it's not a good place to be sticking. All right, you just continue this process until uh, you can see you got a nice good glaze all over the bottom and on the sides. Just going all around it with uh, the borax. Trying to get it good and melt it in now. I have my son with the torch. I'm trying to teach him how to uh, glaze a melting dish. He's doing pretty good. Got some work to do. Get up, get up here right there in this spot. For a 12 year old, I think he's alright. Alright, and that is how you glaze a melting dish. Gotta get a good, even cover over the whole thing. It's all good and shiny. You see if everyone's cool at all. But, uh, get it all good and melty. And it's done. Ready to pour silver. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, y'all have a blessed Sunday afternoon.